Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. Starting now with news, the New Zealand dollar is up over 81 US cents this morning. This is after US stocks hit a four-year high overnight, at least during the day's trade. The S&P 500, remember, has rallied 12% this year. There is hope that the European Central Bank will get through its plan for bond buying. This is after an ally of Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor, on the European Central Bank decision-making board said, yeah, she liked the idea. Meanwhile, markets are still awaiting the Fed speech next week from Ben Bernanke at Jackson Hole. The European Central Bank decision next month and the Fed decision next month really are what everyone's waiting for. So no big moves in markets. The S&P 500 actually ended down 0.4% having hit that four year high during the day's trade. Apple was off its highs, remember it hit the amazing landmark last night of being the most valuable company in the history of listed companies. There's also talk of a Chinese stimulus. Uh, Chongqing, the big city on the southwest, has announced a 1.5 trillion yuan plan to spend that money on infrastructure over three years. That's 230 billion US. To give you an idea, the big stimulus China did in 2008-2009 was 4 trillion yuan, so not quite as big. And the New Zealand dollar, it actually rose to almost 81.4 US cents overnight. It's come off its highs. It was led by the Australian dollar. It benefited from signals that the Reserve Bank of Australia gave yesterday in its minutes that it's unlikely to cut rates again. The stronger Australian domestic economy is offsetting the weaker global economy. And we also got news of pretty much a flat inflation outlook in New Zealand yesterday with inflation expectations. That means that interest rates seem to be on hold for quite a while, possibly the middle of next year. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9 from interest.co.nz.